What are a bunch of nice, if somewhat overaged, cheerleaders doing at a place like the Buskers Ball? We've got the squad that's close to God, and she told us to make a fuss. Hey! These are the ex cheerleaders. Ex is informer. Everyone on the squad used to be a real cheerleader, including the group's 49 year old founder, Kim Irwin. The first time I did it when I was in ninth grade, I loved it. You know, it was just everything. I mean, it was every dream. You know, everybody loved you, you thought. And now, real cheerleaders tend to chant slogans that feature the word go. Go! But the ex cheerleaders tend to chant words we have to bleep out. No ifs, ands, or buts, we're the virgins. Now it's true the ex cheerleaders seem obsessed with sex. Bellies, butts, we love. That's because they think real cheerleading has a lot to do with sex. Choreographer Jody Oberfelder was a cheerleader over 25 years ago. We were contradictions. We we're, were wearing these little short skirts and flashing our panties all the time, but we weren't allowed to have sex. I mean, we had to be good, girls. Notice the motion that causes a commotion. Love this is considered motion. performance art. For this squad, cheerleading is a metaphor for a woman's place in society, on the sidelines of the game rather than playing it. Don't blame us. We're not cheering for the ex-cheerleaders. In 1968 and 69, it was the coolest thing in the whole world. And I was a cheerleader with my identical twin sister. We were co-captains. A quarter century later, she's doing cheers, simulating birth, and mocking the comments some guys used to make to girls. Want some fries to go with that shake? If all of this leaves you shaking your head, it leaves them shaking with laughter. <laughs> The twin sisters, Sydney and Valerie Pullman, still remember the real cheers they used to do for the Freeport Red Devils. E, that's the way it begins. E. You cheer too if you look this good a quarter century later. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York.